Elevation in boiling point. Next is your elevation in boiling point. This is a, also in, in a colligative property. So before this, what is boiling point? We know that boiling point is that the, when the temperature at which a liquid boils up. That is what boiling point. But now onwards the definition will change that the vapor pressure of a liquid when the vapor pressure of a liquid is equals to the atmospheric pressure the liquid starts boil okay the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equals to the atmospheric pressure that is what boiling point you can write temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid is equals to the atmospheric pressure that is what your boiling point okay so if you plot a graph temperature versus vapor pressure versus pressure suppose this is one atmospheric pressure and you have one solvent you started giving temperature it increases vapor pressure vapor pressure increase 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 but at a particular time it will reach it will reach the atmospheric pressure and at this point it starts boiling okay so this is what your pressure this is what your atmospheric pressures where it boils up suppose this is your tb not because this is pure solvent we are not taking any solution and again now we are adding some non volatile solute to that container you are adding non volatile solute to this okay so what will happen the presence of non volatile solute it will cover up some surface area again so the vapor pressure will decrease rlvp we know that the vapor pressure will decrease and what happens the graph will be like this because the presence of non volatile solute the vapor pressure see this side x axis the vapor pressure will low and when you increasing the temperature it will take more temperature to achieve that boiling point it requires more temperature to achieve that boiling point so this difference is known as delta tb change in temperature del signifies that change in temperature okay so delta tb is equals to is the difference between the temperature and t not b stands for pure this is pure solvent this is solution okay that means this temperature it depends upon what number of it depends upon what number of solute particles added that is nothing but molarity so delta tb is directly proportional to molarity m or delta tb equals to kb into molarity what is kb kb is elevation constant elevation constant or proportionality constant or ebullus ebulloscopic constant ebulloscopic constant okay so what will be the unit of this we know that the unit of temperature is kelvin and what is the unit of molarity 
के जी पर मोल ये सब नो सो दिस इज कैलविन के जी पर मोल दूनिट यूनिट ऑफ के वी एस सो दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज डेल्टा टी बी इक्वल्स टू के बी इन टू मोलालिटी इज वेट बाय ऑफ सोल्यूट बाय गिवेन बाय माय मोलर मास इन टू थाउजेंड बाय डब्ल्यू वन सो दिस कैन बी ए यूजफुल फॉर्मूला फॉर यू ऑल फॉर सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चंस सम मैक्सिमम टाइम द क्वेश्चन इन इन द क्वेश्चन एम टू विल बी आस्किंग एंड by putting this you can easily calculate okay note note okay let me clear this okay so next colligative property is your depression of freezing point third depression of depression in freezing point freezing point so what is freezing point again the vapor pressure of liquid when at the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equals to the vapor pressure of the solid okay suppose you are plotting a graph same graph vapor pressure versus temperature and you are talking as you are taking as solvent we know that as temperature increases the vapor pressure increases but we are we will come this side because we are freezing it okay so from high vapor pressure it will come down as we temperature will less or uh, you'll start with 0 minus 1 minus 2 likewise okay so liquid this is the pure solvent and this is the solid at minimum temperature and this is the point where it forms a solid freezes let's say this is tf g tf not okay let's say tf not now we are adding some non volatile solute same thing same process suppose this will be the vapor pressure of solution but it will freezes at this point suppose this is t f so as like that delta t f will be t f not it is the difference between this temperature yes or no or we know that delta tf is directly proportional to molality because it depends on the number of solute particles okay so if you take out the proportional we need to add constant that is kf here this is known as depression constant or freezing point constant or cryoscopic constant cryoscopic constant what will be the unit same because the temperature is kelvin kg per mole okay and we 
kf will be kf will be delta tf by m delta tf will be your kelvin by kg per mole so kelvin mole inverse Kelvin kg inverse per mole. Okay, if you put this, you will get the unit. So next, this can be written as what? This can be written as delta tf equals to kf into w2 into 1000 same by m2 into w1 or m2 will be your w2 into 1000 into kf by w1 into delta tf These are the equations that you have to put to get the answer. So this is your real depression in freezing point. The last qualitative property is your osmotic pressure. So next is osmosis or osmotic pressure. So what is osmosis? Let me tell you that. Osmosis is the process of flow of solvent molecules from a higher concentration region to the lower concentration region through a semi-permeable membrane. Okay? Remember, flow of solvent molecules. Suppose you are taking a container and uh, This is one funnel that you have fitted with along with a semi permeable membrane. Suppose this is your semi permeable membrane, this is your water, okay, and it has some solution. Suppose glucose solution, okay. Solid solution or glucose solution or anything. So what will happen? Where the concentration is more here? What? Concentration of solvent that is in this container. Here the number of molecules or the concentration of solvent molecule is more as compared to this. So what happens? Through this semi-permeable member, the membrane, the water molecules will get inside. And after some times, what you will observe, the level of this will increase to this. Why? It tries to equalize the concentration inside and outside. One more example I will give. This is a container. And you have fitted this the semi permeable membrane SPM okay this is sugar solution this is water fresh water so the concentration of solvent molecule is where where is high obviously this side because this is solution 
and solution means there must be some solute particle that will bind up the solvent molecule so it will not so much free as compared to this so obviously the concentration will be high this side so what happen what happen solvent molecule will come this side and after some times the level will increase Okay, so I hope you understood the process of osmosis. Okay, next come to what is osmotic pressure. The pressure at which you will avoid osmosis or to stop osmosis, the pressure you are applying is known as osmotic pressure. Suppose in this case, in this case here is semi permeable and here is the super solution now the flow will come from here to here this side to this side But you will apply some pressure over here, external pressure, okay, external pressure you are applying on it. And what happens, the molecules, the flow of molecules will be reduced as you are applying pressure, the molecule flow will be less, less time by time, but a time will come where the flow will be stopped. because you are applying some external pressure over here and that is known as osmotic pressure okay if you apply more pressure then what will happen this osmosis will, will start reverse from this side to this side because the pressure is more though the concentration is more here but due to the more pressure the back flow of solvent molecule will start here the sugar solution will be there sugar molecules will be this side but the solvent molecules will start flowing from this to this side that is what known as reverse osmosis okay so osmotic pressure external osmotic pressure pi this is equals to crt this is again directly proportional to the concentration so c is nothing but your n by v rt what is n by v number of moles per unit volume that is the concentration rt r is the gas constant and t is the temperature this is the concentration okay so again n is you can write w2 or w by m2 divided by number of moles how will you calculate number of moles given mass by molar mass by volume into rt which is you can write as w2 rt by m2 v which is your pi or m2 W two R T by pi into V. These are the formulas that you have to use to calculate osmotic pressure. Uh, normally, most of questions M two will be asking. Remember, that's why I'm writing M two. The formula for M two. Okay. Remember. what is osmosis what is osmotic pressure what is reverse osmosis and reverse osmosis the application of reverse osmosis is wide nowadays for purification of water we know that kent ro the system they are writing ro means what reverse osmosis okay where the contaminated water from the contaminated water to pure water this is how the process works 
they are applying some external pressure where the solvent molecule will go from the lower concentration to higher concentration for the purification in the foreign countries they are not getting the drinking water they are usually using sea water to drink by the process of reverse osmosis they are purifying it and they are used to take it okay so again this type of solution again the osmotic pressure we have uh, three type of solutions isotonic solution isotonic solution and another one is uh, hypotonic or hypertonic hypertonic and hypotonic from the name itself it is quite clear isotonic means the it maintains the equilibrium okay so the pressure will be same both the side this type of isotonic solutions mostly our 0.9% NaCl WIV NaCl what is this this solution is isotonic solution this is nothing but your saline okay isotonic we are used to take isotonic solution in saline because the label of oxidation suppose in hypotonic or hypotonic solution will be injected to your body what will happen the tissue will swell up okay that's why we are ready we are giving that an isotonic solution in saline okay next is hypertonic hypertonic is where the osmotic pressure will be high and hypotonic means osmotic pressure will be less very low and the reverse osmosis is also known as desalination desalination solution desalination solution uh, okay so reverse osmosis osmotic pressure osmosis i hope you clear these colligative properties okay do the next in text questions okay the last part i'll complete today abnormal masses okay let me clear this